Covering the Capitol tonight, superintendents in central Kentucky say they'll be lucky to give small raises to teachers and staff under the current budget proposal moving through Frankfurt. Bodie Brooks has the plea from education leaders to lawmakers. Workforce shortages, 100%, that is the most critical challenge that we're facing. We've got to have reoccurring funds available to us to improve salaries. There is no simple way to break down the $124 billion proposed state budget. The latest version passed by the House does include boost to education, but once it's run through the complex formulas that fund our schools, Scott County School Superintendent Billy Parker says even not accounting for inflation, the outlook is dim. Costs for buses, costs for repairs, all of those things have hit us no differently than, it, than it's hit households. But taking that out of consideration and applying every dime we could, we could do a 2% raise. Year two, we could do no raise. 2% is on the higher end. Parker and others say quickly climbing property values are throwing off the amount schools get. Some estimate less than 1% or like in Paris schools, no raises at all. It will provide additional revenue for our district. However, with our increased enrollment and our increased property assessments, it's, it kind of comes out as a, as, a, as a negative. The other options would be to raise uh, taxpayer dollars at the local level or to uh, cut, cut various programs. In Jessamine County, where a one and a quarter percent raise is possible, it's a similar dilemma to find the money. As Parker laid out, schools only have limited pots to dip into for raises. For example, construction money cannot go there. Parker says the longer this debate goes on, the more quality suffers in the classroom, as emergency certified teachers have more than doubled in the last three years. We wouldn't be able to make it without our emergency certified employees right now. We are very thankful to them, but we also see that the lack of training and the lack of qualifications on the front end for them is a serious hurdle. Parker said some opportunities where the legislature can help come back to increasing the guaranteed base money in SEEK, the formula that is the foundation of school funding and reinvesting any excess. In Georgetown, Bodie Brooks, Fox 56 News. A spokesperson for the Senate tells us they are in the process of pouring through the budget and will hold comment for now.